Hi, today I want to show you how to use projects in Wikispaces, which is a new feature for K-12 educators. So if you have a K-12 um, or higher education, a plus or a super plan, you can have projects specifically for your classroom work and you can use them for assignments or activities. If you have that kind of wiki, all of a sudden you will see this little icon pop, pop up in your wiki spaces. If you click on it, projects, you will see I've already created two projects that have different numbers of teams in them. It's very easy to create a project. You simply click on create project. Give your project a name. Decide how many teams you want, where if you're going to choose this option, name the teams now and add members later, or you can upload a spreadsheet with the usernames and team names, or you can randomly assign members to teams of a set size. I'm going to show you what uploading the spreadsheet could look like. You can um, upload a CSV, XLS, or XLSX spreadsheet file from your computer if you put the usernames in the first column and the team names in the second column. If you don't want to do it that way, you can just name the teams now and add members later. If you don't like the name of the team, it's very easy to just type in your own team. You can add teams as needed, just like that and then decide the permissions. Who has access to this particular project? Well, each team has their own access. So if I want to make it public to the wiki, that means every wiki member can view and edit. If I want to make it protected to the wiki, that means every wiki member can view it, but only members of the team can edit it. If I want to make it private, it means all the work done by that team can only be seen by that team. I'm going to make it protected to wiki and I'm going to disallow discussion posts and comments from non-team members at this time. I can always change those permissions. I'm going to click on Create. And you will see what happens. I now have my project and my teams. It's very simple to add members to my team since I didn't upload a spreadsheet all I have to do is drag them in and they show up in the team. Remember how I said you could change the permissions? This is where you do that. This little indicator tells me how many members I have in that team. If I don't like the way this team is structured, I can always just delete that person. I can also rename my team. Now, once I create my teams, when the students log in, they will see on their left hand side a project page. If they're not a member of a team they will not see that in their in their air in their action area. So once I make them part of a team they will see this icon and when they click on it they will see the home page of their team. That will be in the next screencast. I just wanted to show you how to add members easily to a team and how to take them away. I might have to make this bigger in order to see my team members. Oh, we're having a little streaming problem. There we go. I did add this person a few times, so. A little streaming issue. And again, it's very easy to remove your team members. And that's it.